in 30 days, we were able to transform and totally renovate what is now our church sanctuary. When my husband shared with me that he knew God was calling him to pastor, we began to write the vision, make it plain, and once he shared it with me, I took off running. One of the things in that vision was that we wanted a freestanding building for our church. Another interesting thing about our ministry or my husband being called to pastor is that we were getting ready to do this and we didn't have any members. We had no members when we started church or when we started our ministry. Our very first service was August the 11th, 2013. And that's the service where our church building was dedicated, at which time my husband was also installed as pastor. When we came across the building and walked inside, we knew that this was the place that God wanted us to start ministry. So we took off and we hit the ground running. We were able to do everything that you're going to see for less than $5,000. It was anywhere between maybe about, maybe a little more than $4,500. You will see as we're taking down the walls in um, the area that will be our sanctuary, my husband, once he took the sheetrock down, he actually saved all of the two by fours. He pulled out all of the nails and we were able to use those two by fours when we needed to put up walls in the sanctuary. So it's been, it was such a blessing um, for us to be able to do this project together. And it's not the first, we, we do projects together quite often, but this one here was very, very special. Also, the only thing that we contracted out was having the painting done. We used a company called Summers International, and we've used this company for years for business use, for our personal home, and it was such a blessing to use this company as well for our church sanctuary. I will provide all of that company's information along with the information where we purchased our church worship chairs and also any sound equipment that we used. I will provide that information also. We actually laid carpet. My husband and I have never ever laid carpet. It was a challenge, but having carpet layers to come in, it wasn't in the budget. So we did it ourselves. There were several things that was not in the budget. And that's why we ended up doing it ourselves. But we were very, very pleased with the outcome. And we were just so excited as to what we were able to accomplish in 30 days. And I just want to share, maybe you are getting ready to start ministry. Uh, maybe you have a sanctuary and you may be not sure quite what to do with it. I believe that the sanctuary should be kept simple. Uh, don't do too much in the sanctuary. It's not your personal living space. And I think sometimes, you know, you can go overboard as it pertains to the, the decor in the sanctuary. So I wanted to keep it very simple. So having said that, we got started and 30 days later, it was a wrap. So I'm excited to share this with you. I want to encourage you if you're starting ministry, trust God. If he called you to the vision, if he gave you the vision, that he will make the provision in order for things to happen. Again, our first service was August the 11th, and we were just excited to be able to meet our deadline and get things done. And hopefully with this video, you can see that although you're small, you can still do things in a spirit of excellence. There is a business side of ministry, and in this business side of ministry, we believe that all that we do, we should do it in a spirit of excellence. I even took the time to do research as it pertains to, or as it pertained to the color of our ministry. I didn't just choose a color blue. My favorite color is green. So in me doing research, I didn't want to just do green as a church color because I like the color green, but I began to research the colors as well and what they meant. And that's how we came up with the color blue, even for our sanctuary. So again, I hope you all enjoy the video. If you're out there and you're interested in um, my doing some consultation services, I would be very interested in doing something to help ministries as it pertains to sharing what we've learned in this two and a half years of ministry. Um, because sometimes it's just good to hear from somebody else that's that's been there and that's done that. And I think it gets 
it gets not necessarily easier, but once you've been in ministry for 10, 15 years, of course you've saved a lot more money, at least hopefully you have. But with us only being two and a half years in, there's so much that we've learned and we, we are just, we would love an opportunity to be able to share with ministries that are just starting in and just share what we learned, the do's and don'ts and how we do things in a spirit of excellence as it pertains to ministry. So I hope you enjoy this, this video and hopefully it's something that will inspire you and encourage you if you find yourself in the place of starting ministry. I will provide our church administrators information in this video as well. It should be at the bottom of your screen. And if you're interested in um, me coming, my husband and I both and just sharing what we've lear learned this short time in starting ministry and that business side, please reach out to us. We would be more than happy to come and share with you. I hope you all enjoy this video.
Now that you all have seen the pictures of our 30-day church sanctuary renovation, I decided to drive out to the church to give you guys a video overview of our completed sanctuary. Won't you come on and join me in the house of the Lord? There was a wall that ran down the middle of the sanctuary here in this area here. And that's that wall that we were kicking down and dismantling. And then in addition to that wall, if you remember, there was a beam where there were two doors that came down the middle of this area here this area right here there was a beam that came down the middle to make that two doors so my husband removed that beam and I needed some kind of a barrier because right here where this panel is we added this panel right here with the windows because right on the other side of that panel to the left is the men's bathroom and I didn't want the men coming out of the bathroom and stepping directly into the sanctuary so we just found this panel this panel here and my husband inserted that panel to create at least a small barrier before the men would step into the sanctuary here's a closer view of how close the men's bathroom door was to the sanctuary. So again, that's why we kind of installed just a little barrier so that when they stepped out, they would not be directly in the sanctuary.
We can't. 